Attention Lakers fans, get ready because we have some news that will shake up the NBA universe. The Los Angeles Lakers have just signed the new shot-blocking legend, Kyler Kelly, the seven-foot giant. Are you wondering, who is this new monster on the court? and why his arrival could change everything. Don't miss out on this incredible news. Stay with us to find out how Kyler can transform the game and take the Lakers to new heights. And let's get to today's news. But first, just make sure you're already subscribed to the channel because the next videos will be a series of content that will help you stay informed about everything related to the Lakers. Turn on the notification bell and select the all option. After that, we'll send you all the latest news that comes out behind the scenes of the Lakers. Lakers fans, we have a goal of 80 likes to hit on this video. In the last video, we hit the goal in less than an hour. Prove that you are Lakers fans and leave a like so we can hit this goal soon. Hey guys, welcome back. I know Lakers fans love centers, and guess what? They brought in a new one, but it might not be the one you were expecting. They brought in Kyler Kelly with a special contract called the Exhibition Contract 10. But what is this contract? It's like a training camp agreement that gives the player a bonus of $50,000 if he stays with the team in the G League, which is a minor league where NBA teams have their development teams. It looks like Kyler Kelly will stay there since he seems to fit in well. They needed to fill all 20 spots on the team for training camp, and they might have had to trade someone to do so, like Muhammad Yara or point guard Shaunas. I'm not sure who exactly, but we'll find out soon. Hey guys, here's a quick update. You can now have 21 players on your practice squad instead of just 20 like before. I don't know if I missed this information earlier, but it looks like they changed the rules. I think it's because teams can now have three special contracts called two-way contracts, which is why they increase the number of spots. But either way, it looks like they won't have to trade anyone now. That's it. Here's another interesting bit of information. Kyler Kelly can earn up to $75,000 if he stays on the G League team, not just $50,000 like I thought before. That's a great reason for him to want to stick around a little longer. Plus, Kyler Kelly will be a challenge for the other players at the center position. He can get a special contract called a two-way contract, and that makes him a lot of competition for Colin Kassan. While Chris and Jackson Haz are also on guaranteed contracts and should be there for a while, if Kyler Kelly plays really well, he could end up passing Colin Kassan in the running. So every NBA team is allowed to have three special contracts called two-way contracts. Currently, all three of these contracts are occupied. Two of them are used by center players, Colin and ARL Taylor. Even though Taylor was signed about a month ago, he could be at risk of losing his contract, as is Colin Kassan. While I think Colin is more at risk, both of them will have to work hard to make sure their contracts are upheld. Let's talk about Kyler Kelly. He's 26 years old and was not drafted in the 2020 draft. He last played with the Celtics main team in the G League, which is like a training league for the Boston Celtics. Before that, he also played for the practice squads of the Toronto Raptors and the San Antonio Spurs. Kyler Kelly is a big guy. He is seven feet tall and weighs 218 pounds. Plus his arms are super long with a wingspan of seven feet, one inch. All of this makes him an imposing player for the center position. Kyler Kelly is a very athletic player. He is a center who is great on defense. He especially excels at blocking shots from opponents. Last season, Kyler led the G League in blocks per game. He managed 2.9 blocks in just 22 minutes of play, which is almost five blocks every 36 minutes. This made him the best blocker in the league. He is so good on defense that he sometimes prevents players from getting close to the rim. So Kyler Kelly was probably the best rim protector in the G League last season, surpassing Colin Kassan. Now the big question is, will this skill help Kyler stand out in training camp? I think this is a good question to discuss, but Kyler Kelly has some limitations when it comes to offense. He is not as good at shooting three-pointers, dribbling the ball, or creating plays as Colin Kassan. This could make it difficult for Kyler to stand out. He is less efficient on offense in almost every aspect, although he is very good at finishing alley-oops, which are dunks or plays where he receives the ball in the air and puts it in the basket. He does that well. When compared to Christian Wood and Jackson Hayes, Kyler Kelly still has a lot of room to improve on offense. Christian Wood is great at almost everything on offense, and Jackson Hayes is much more athletic than Kyler. It is not easy to compete with those two. I think Kyler will need to work hard with his teammates, such as Colin Kassan or ARL Taylor, who are on special contracts. I don't think he has a great chance of being a top 15 player on the team over Christian Wood or Jackson Hayes. 
In addition to trying to improve his defense, Kyler can also be very useful in grabbing rebounds. He's going to have to put in a lot of work to make it big. Kyler Kelly is a great rebounder. He grabbed 10.4 rebounds per game in the G League last season, and he also averaged four offensive rebounds per 36 minutes played. That's pretty good, but not as impressive as Colin Kassan, who grabbed almost 14 rebounds per 36 minutes, outpacing Kyler by more than three rebounds. So Colin Kassan has the edge when it comes to rebounding. Ultimately, it all comes down to how hard each player works. Colin hasn't really stood out on offense, and Kyler still needs to improve on defense. One really cool thing about Kyler is that he blocks a lot of shots without committing many fouls. On average, he blocks almost five shots per game, but only commits three fouls per game. That's pretty impressive. Imagine if you're playing for about 36 minutes and you can block five shots without committing a foul. That's really impressive, both in the G League and in the NBA. I think Kyler Kelly deserves a chance on a team. In the end, it's all about who can shine the most against the best players in the NBA. That won't just be in training camp, but also in the preseason, when teams will be looking at everyone. The main competition will be between Colin Kasson and Kyler Kelly. It's too early to trade ARL Taylor, and Christian Wood and Jackson Hayes have guaranteed contracts, so they won't be replaced. So the real battle is going to be between Colin and Kyler. Even though Kyler Kelly isn't as good on offense, I think he has the potential to shine in the NBA. If he can learn to shoot three-pointers, grab more rebounds, or improve his passing skills, he could be a much bigger player. With these improvements, he could potentially get a special contract called a two-way contract, which he is already eligible for. In my opinion, the Lakers should keep Kyler on the G League roster. This would give him a good chance to compete with Colin Kassan and prove himself to the NBA team later on. While Kyler was signed primarily to fill a practice squad spot, he could surprise if given a fair chance. Kyler Kelly has a good chance to make the first team if he gets a two-way contract, especially competing with Colin Kassan. While he has great NBA potential, he needs to show more. Kyler is an excellent rim protector, better than anyone else on the team except Anthony Davis. He is more efficient on defense than Colin Kassan, Christian Wood, and even Jackson Hayes. Even though Jackson is more athletic, Kyler is more disciplined on defense. If Kyler can improve other aspects of his game, such as shooting three-pointers, improving his passing skills, or being an even better rebounder, he could stand out even more. This could help him land a two-way contract, whether with his current team or another team. I truly believe that Kyler Kelly has the potential to play in the NBA, and I hope he makes it with this team. That would be amazing. Now, I want to know what you think. What do you think about Kyler Kelly joining the practice squad? Do you think he can get a two-way contract or even an official NBA contract? Or do you think he was just signed to fill a void? Let me know what you think in the comments below. In my opinion, Kyler Kelly is an interesting player with a lot of potential, especially as a rim protector. He excelled in the G League last season, leading the league in blocks per game and showing that he can be a solid defensive presence. That shot-blocking talent is valuable, and if he can improve other aspects of his game, such as his three-point shooting and offense, he could become an even more complete player. However, when compared to other players such as Colin Kassan, Christian Wood, and Jackson Hayes, Kyler still has some challenges to overcome. Kassan, for example, is stronger on the rebound and offense, while Jackson Hayes is more athletic, although he is not as good on defense as Kyler. Christian Wood is quite versatile on offense, which makes the competition even tougher. For Kyler Kelly, the best chance to make the first team may be through a two-way contract that allows him to play in both the NBA and the G League. This would give him the opportunity to prove himself in a more competitive environment while continuing to develop. Ideally, Kyler would get a chance to hone his skills in the G League, where he can focus on improving his offense and becoming more well-rounded. If he can add a good three-point shot and improve his offensive skills, he could stand out much more and perhaps earn a more substantial contract in the future. Ultimately, it's a matter of seeing how he performs in the competition. It will be important for him to showcase his skills, not only during training camp, but also in the preseason. If he can impress and show that he can contribute in multiple ways, he could have a better chance of getting a two-way contract or even a full-time contract with the main team. So I'm optimistic about Kyler's potential, but he'll have to work hard to excel and secure a spot on the team. 
Thank you for watching this far. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to continue receiving the next content. Access our playlist now that will appear on the screen or in the pinned comment with all the latest news and updates from the Lakers and stay up to date with the behind the scenes, highlights, last minute controversies, transfers, everything about the Los Angeles Lakers team until the next video.